Why are you so mad? It's like, hey! Now that that dumb shit's out of the way, start the video! What is going on guys? I am Jehovah. You guys have seen this box before so you should know what it is. But if you don't, it's my Ironside PC and I've been waiting on my new office. And I'm not going to show you much more than what you can see in the shot right now, but as you can see there is carpet. Um, so my office is now finished. I'm looking around. I think it's finished. It's hard to believe almost, but uh, everything is finished. All the paint, all the electrical, all everything, um, the carpet. And so, yeah, now I am setting up my stuff behind me, but I'm not going to show you that yet. I want to show you my desk and uh, my full setup uh, later on in the video. So right here, Ironside, you can see. Um, anyways, you guys have seen enough of a box. I'm going to go ahead and cut it open and pick up from there. Peanuts. Look at that sea of delicious foam. Oh, beautiful. But... What's underneath is going to be even better. What is this? Ironside. Getting started with your new PC. Ooh, that's fancy. Um, looks like all the extra cabling, power cord, that's important. Some stuff like that. So we'll set that to the side. Holy peanuts. Holy peanuts. All right, I went with the NZ, NZXT case. Um, that is the case for my PC. It's pretty sweet. I'm not the most, I'm trying to make as little of a mess as possible. I'm not the most uh, technically knowledgeable computer person. So if I get some of this wrong, don't yell at me, but all the full specs for the computer and everything will be in the description. So uh, I'm gonna pull this out and pick it up from there. This is like a Chinese torture trap or something, like a box inside of a box? Come on, man. But uh, anyway, here here's the case, like I said, uh, the NZXT Guardian 921RB, I guess, uh, mid-tower. So if you wanna know what tower, all right, now I'm gonna open this box. And we're cutting away again. All right, guys, here it is, the moment I've been waiting for, and uh, you probably have been a little bit too. This is it. This is my new Ironside PC. It's going to make my setup so much better. I can dive into some PC gaming for content for you guys. Not only that, but editing videos and just managing all that HD content and all that good stuff is going to be so much easier. Uh, live streams, etc., etc. So I'll show you a little bit of it. It's not powered on, obviously. I'll power it on later and show you guys. Um, the case is pretty awesome. Here it is opened up. As you can see, I have a big ass fan controller here. Um, the all-in-one card reader, Blu-ray writer. Um, and then this is the side panel design over here. It's very nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, the panel, and show you guys the inside. Like I said, all the specs in the description if you wanna know any more about all of it because I would just get it wrong. Alright guys, here we go. Here it is with the side panel off. There's a nice little fan inside, which is nice. Uh, up in here we got some really cool green uh, cable cover wire thingy-mabobbers. I don't remember what they're called, but they're cool. Um, here is the GeForce GTX 1 bajillion. Uh, no, actually, I think it's the... Yep, right there. GTX, I don't know if you can see, that's really dark. 780 Ti. Um, so that's going to be nice. Uh, there's some, I believe that's called the Reform. Um, there's a red thing down there, and that's pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, here's all my stuff. Uh, before they shipped it out to me, they sent me some pictures. They have a much better camera than I do, um, with some really nice lighting and stuff. I laid this down so you guys could see it, uh, into it a little bit better. Uh, but they've got some nice pictures. I'll throw those up in this video. Like I said, full specs listed in the description. Uh, the next thing you'll see is this bad boy turned on with all the LEDs and cool shit like that. Here it is, guys. All lit up and beautiful with the LEDs going strong, as you can see in there. It is pretty sexy, and I love it. Uh, this computer has actually been hooked up for, hmm, 
about a week now, I think, uh, since I started filming the unboxing. And I wanted to be able to use it and get a good impression. This is a fan controller. It's all touchscreen and super fancy and legit. I got the card reader and everything, blah, blah, blah. Um, but this is what it looks like lit up. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Like I said, I've been using it for about a week. Um, and I absolutely love it. The performance is amazing. I can render uh, videos super, super fast. And I can play uh, all my games on pretty high settings. So the specs will be in the description, the full specs. And um, yeah, can't recommend Ironside enough. It's a fucking amazing computer. So uh, now I'll show you guys the rest of my office. What is going on guys? Welcome to the much anticipated office tour. As you remember, the glory hole used to be here. Now it's a sexy little light. And in here is the newly finished office. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you over here to the right first. I'm pretty proud of this. This is um, some custom cabinets that they threw in here for me, and I love it. It's amazing. Uh, it's a really good spot for all my games. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot more games. I need a lot of spot, a uh, lot of space for all that. Plus, I accumulate a lot of stuff from trips and everything, um, so it'll make good places for that kind of stuff. I'm still kind of situating what's going to be over here and what's not, but. This is just kind of a rough setup so far, still being kind of tweaked and uh, ironed out and everything. So I'll show you guys all this stuff real quick. Real quick, that's all my games. Blah, blah, blah. Some more games. Um, some random stuff that I got from like the Ghost event, uh, Titanfall event, stuff like that. Uh, here's my my Starbucks machine with some uh, K-Cups over here. Uh, I got a few books in there, uh, strategy guides, stuff like that. Uh, the Halo 3 Legendary Edition helmet and the Black Ops 2 RCXD card um, over here. They get, and there's a drill bit there. Uh, don't mind that. Um, the Nvidia Shield that we got at the Titanfall event for some reason, which was cool. I uh, wasn't expecting that, but whatever. I have a PS Vita. I never touch it. I should probably either play it or sell it. Uh, there's an Xbox One water bottle that I got, I believe, at the, hmm, the Ghost event, I think. I thought that was cool because it's actually glass and it's kind of sexy. Up here, super proud of these guys. Um, I want to thank you guys so, so much for these. As you can see, I have not one, but two. Oh shit, that's me. I need a haircut. Silver play buttons. And as you can see here, it's pretty cool. It's like uh, 100,000 people. That's more than the Roman Coliseum, blah, blah, blah. But basically what these are for is hitting 100,000 subs on both uh, my main channel, as you can see here. And then my second channel, as you can see here, Jehovah Witness and Jehovah's Witness. So 100,000 on both of those. I should be getting a big gold play button for my main channel uh, for hitting a million. And I'm really looking forward to that. Maybe I'll hang it on the wall over here or something. So uh, up here, just some random stuff that I've acquired. I don't wear uh, flat bill fitted hats, whatever those are called. Um, I don't really want to throw them away or whatever, so I just threw them up there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. And as I get more stuff or whatever, I might throw it on those shelves. Uh, down there is just some more random shit you probably wouldn't be too interested in. And then we got a big blank open wall. I don't know what to do over here. Um, closets in there is uh, nothing but stuff to like turn on our water sprinkler system. And in there is uh, more random storage. Over here, uh, that's my Halo cup because I was sipping on some water last night. And I haven't taken it upstairs yet. Um, I love my Halo cup. I got that thing like seven years ago. That's from Halo 2. Uh, this, I'm, this is a ammo can. I think I showed it to you guys in a video a long time ago. Uh, basically this is what they sent as an invite. Uh, EA sent this out to all the people that got invited to the Battlefield 4 event, um, in San Francisco. So why is my camera not focusing at all? Um, so I don't know if it'll stay there, but it's kind of cool because it kind of like, uh, that was the first trip that I was invited to. Uh, I went to PAX East before that. But that was just a public event that we all decided to go to. So that was the first thing I like got invited to by a company, and I thought it was really cool. So here, drum roll, is boom, the setup. And now my camera is going to focus on the bright LED screens and make it look like the lighting in here is crap, but it's really not. It's pretty good. But here's my setup. So my idea was is that I wanted three monitors um, because at all times I manage my main channel, my second channel, and Twitter and all kinds of stuff. So basically what I do 
is on that left monitor there. I run my second channel on the middle monitor. I run my main channel and on the right hand monitor, I manage Twitter and I also um, usually am logged into uh, the Crooniverse accounts on my Twitter as well. So that's why I have three monitors makes things a lot easier editing, uploading, uh, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So um, that's why that is there. Then I have a little uh, desk calendar over here that helps stay organized. You know, the Razer keyboard, mouse pad, and mouse, which is all getting... I've had it for quite a while, and they're starting to get a little dirty. I noticed in the move, everything new around it, I was like, this stuff is dirty. Um, and then my chair, just a pretty standard chair. Um, over here is my internet that comes in from the wall. I need to hide that somehow. I'm either going to try tucking it in. I just tucked it in a little bit right there and it was really difficult and a pain in the ass so I don't know if I'm going to be able to go the whole way. I don't know. I'll give you a little bit of behind the scenes over here. Right over here, I go with the wireless, or pff, wireless, I go with the rechargeable batteries and the recharge station. They uh, This recharge thing recharges double A's in like a minute and a half so it's way easier than just buying regular batteries and it's pretty cool. Uh, I enjoy it. My uh, iPhone charger back here. We have the old PS4. So I decided to take up less room. Basically, I can find my entire setup to this gigantic 72-inch desk. So I have the PS4 here, the Xbox 360 in the middle, and the Xbox One over there on the end. And it's all hidden behind the monitors, and it's functional, and it works. It looks cluttered back here, but who cares? There's a speaker. There's another speaker over there. Um, and right here is various uh, HDMI converters and... Uh, multi switches what am i trying to think of i don't know anyways it makes everything work everything's plugged into this one tv on the wall and at any given time if i turn the xbox 360 on it'll come up on there even though there's only one hdmi going to it and then if i turn the ps4 on it'll switch to the ps4 and it's awesome back here more wires holy shit i know it's crazy um and then i've showed you guys this before i think but it's a rode uh boom arm with the blue shock mount pop filter and blue yeti microphone i just had to get a new blue yeti unfortunately but i really like it uh it works really really well so i can bring it way down here close if i'm playing something on pc or then kind of move it back a little bit off to the side whenever i'm playing uh xbox or whatever on the tv up above and it's really really good it's very functional and i enjoy it um I'm really excited. I'm planning some new things in this office, some like Let's Plays, uh, even maybe with like Legion coming over, stuff like that. You never know. It's going to be crazy shit. So yeah, basically guys, this is my office. I fucking love it. It's amazing. Uh, there's still a lot I plan on doing. If uh, any drastic changes happen and everything, I will definitely be keeping you guys updated on the whole thing as it, as it, as it comes together. So I love it. It's awesome. I hope it's going to be good for you guys too. I'm just now getting back into the grind of making videos and, uh, you know, getting in my daily routine work schedule for YouTube. And I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I love you guys. I will talk to you soon.